नमस्कार एंड वेलकम नेटवर्क एनालिसिस और पार्ट एंड सीपीएम वी हैव बीन लर्निंग हाउ टू ड्रॉ सिंपल पार्ट चार्ट और नेटवर्क डायग्राम नाउ लेट्स ऐड सम न्यू पॉइंट्स इन आर बास्केट दिस टाइम आफ्टर ड्रॉइंग द पार्ट चार्ट और नेटवर्क डायग्राम वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ फ्यू थिंग्स फर्दर and they are critical path and critical or bottleneck activities that means from this lecture we are starting the discussion on critical path analysis in this very first lecture on the topic we are going to learn how to trace a critical path directly on the part chart or directly on the network diagram without further calculations a very simple point but very important in this whole chapter Yes, the project given us is for the following project. The scheduled completion date is the earliest expected time for the end event. Draw the network and trace the critical path. The activities have been given with reference to node numbers. The first activity from zero to one. Zero means the start event, and there is only one initial activity which will be shown as the arrow between. Event number zero and one. Similarly, from event number one, that is the end of the first activity, three different activities will start as the successor of the first node one to two, node one to three, and node one to four. Then further activities will be from node number two to three, three to four, and four to five. And these are the number of days. That means durations of the various activities. A very simple chart. Let's start. The first is node number zero, that is start of the project, and only one initial activity, that is between node number zero and one. Now three different activities will start after completing the first activity, and they will be on node one two two one two three and one two four. But afterwards, we need to bridge node number two and three by an activity, node number three and four by an activity, and node number four and five by an activity. So let's draw this diagram in this way. Yes, activity between node number one and two will take six days. Activity. Between node number one and three will take sixteen days. Activity between node number one and four will take ten days. Activity between node number two and three will take eight days. Activity between node number three and four is going to take five days. and the last activity of the project is going to take place between node number 4 and 5 and which will take 3 days so this is the part chart or network logic for this particular project now the new point and the first is critical path what is critical path the longest path through the network which consists of a set of activities that connects the network start event to the network end event is called the critical path the longest path yes the word longest we are going to consider in the next step the path through the network which consists of a set of activities that connects the network start event to the network end event that means various Active the path covering various activities from the start to the finish of the project, which is the longest path, and the length of the critical path determines the minimum duration in which the project can be completed. Yes. So let's first of all think about a path which is the longest. That means having the longest duration. Then. First, let's check how many paths are possible. 
to cover the journey from the initial rather start of the project to end of the project we can see the first path as 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 first path another possible path is 0 to 1 to 3 to 4 to 5 yes 0 to 1 to 3 and the third path is possible 0 to 1 1 to 4 4 to 5 so in three different ways we can reach the end event from the start event path and we can also see that all these paths have different durations yes okay let's think about the first possible path it is from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 and the duration will be 3 days for 0 to 1 plus 6 days for 1 to 2 plus 8 days for 2 to 3 plus 5 days for 3 to 4 and plus 3 days for 4 to 5 3 plus 6 9 plus 8 17 plus 5 22 plus 3 25 days if we take the journey from start to end from on this path it will take 25 days to reach the end event another possible path is 0 to 1 1 to 3, 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 that is going to take 3 plus 16 plus 5 plus 3 that means 27 days and the third possible path is 0 to 1 to 4 to 5 that is going to take 3 plus 10 plus 3 equals to 16 days okay the longest path okay the longest is this one taking 27 the highest number of possible highest number of days to reach the end event from the start event and that is 0 to 1 1 to 3 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 this path is going to take 27 days so according to the definition this is the critical path the path rather the longest path from start event to end event which covers various activities and this is the minimum duration in which this project can be completed 27 days Yes, now the another point is critical or benchmark activities. All the activities on the critical path are called active, critical or benchmark, uh, sorry, bottleneck, not benchmark, bottleneck activities. The delay in the completion of one or more of such, that means critical or bottleneck activities will cause delay in completing the whole project. Let's identify 0 to 3, 0 to 1, 1 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to Five. Okay, let's believe that somehow this activity takes more than 16 days, say 21 days. That means this activity is completed later than expected in 21 days instead of 16 days. That means this activity takes 5 more days. The whole project will end 5 days later 27 plus 5 if it happens that this activity takes 21 days instead of 16 the whole project will complete in 32 days instead of 27 days this is the importance of this activity yes that's why it is called bottleneck yeah we have to treat these activities with special attention special consideration the first target should be not to delay any of these critical or bottleneck activities. The positive angle is if somehow we can complete any one or more of the critical activities earlier than expected, then we will complete the whole project earlier than the expectation. Yes, that is the positive side of identifying the critical or bottleneck activities. So, we covered a small new point of critical path 
as well as critical or bottleneck activities. This is the starting of critical path analysis. In the future lectures or next lectures, we are going to discuss more about critical path analysis. We are going to learn so many more new things, but in my style, step by step, gradually, in due course. That's it. Thank you.